Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale low hood GP9 locomotive from Athern Genesis. My engine is decorated and detailed to match Southern Pacific 3708. The prototype locomotive was renumbered to 3708 in 1965. I have consulted prototype photos and the real 3708 was still active as late as 1988 and still had its full light package in front at that time. A photo from 1972 shows 3708 with footboards as on the model, but with a square emergency light. Photos from the 1980s show the engine with a round emergency light as on the model, but no footboards. In all the photos, the fan behind the cab is a different style than on the model, probably indicating that the fan was replaced at some point on the real engine. Otherwise, the model appears to match prototype photos quite well. This model is available DCC ready or with DCC and sound installed. The MSRP for the DCC Ready version is $189.98. The MSRP for the DCC and Sound version is $289.98. My model is the sound equipped version. The paint on the model is opaque and evenly applied, and the colors look accurate to my eye for SP. All of the markings are crisp and legible. The model lacks many of the small stencils and stickers seen in photos from the 1980s, but some of that may have been added after 1965 on the prototype. The model has amazing detail, including brake lines, air reservoir plumbing, delicate flexible plastic handrails, and photo etched radiator grills. The sill treatment over the fuel tank is different on both sides and matches prototype photos of the real 3708. The front of the model has the distinctive SP light package and sloping low hood. The headlight and gyro light are lit with bulbs. The emergency light, class lights, and number boards are not lighted. The pilot includes uncoupling levers that match prototype photos from 1972. In later photos, the locomotive has more modern uncoupling levers. Later photos also show fewer MU hoses and no footboards, as I mentioned earlier. The footboards look to be separate parts, so they should be removable without too much effort. The one-piece center windshield matches prototype photos. The windshield wipers are made of metal and are very delicate looking. The grab iron on top of the short hood is a separately applied part, though the small vent appears to be molded on. Photos from the 1980s show 3708 with only a headlight in the rear as on the model. Most of the detail on this end also appears correct. I like the separately applied grab irons and brake ratchet. The color separation line in the rear between the red and the gray is a little forward of where it should be for the 1980s. Photos show the separation line even with the edge of the rearmost door. The model is equipped with McHenry scale couplers. The coupler on the rear is low according to the KD height gauge. The horn appears to be in the correct position on the cab roof. A photo from 1987 shows a different style of horn with two chimes forward and one facing back, opposite what's on the model. The antenna looks to be about a foot further back than it should be. The model has a full cab interior and openable cab windows. The fans on the roof are well done with photo etched grills. As I mentioned earlier, the real 3708 had a more modern EMD fan behind the cab in photos from 1972 and after. The center cap on the dynamic brake fan on my model sticks up a little instead of fitting as it should. I like the delicate lift rings. On the underside the model has sander lines and other plumbing. The bell is concealed behind the front step on the engineer's side. The air reservoir detail is very good. All eight wheels pick up current and all four axles are powered. All of the wheels are in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. The model weighs 10.7 ounces. I registered 1.9 ounces of drawbar pull on my force gauge. The model is equipped with the Soundtrack Tsunami 2 DCC sound decoder. I'm running it on DCC. The engine performs pretty well and has good low speed capability. The headlights are activated with F0 and are directional. The gyro light is on F5. I really wish Atherin would stop using bulbs and go to LEDs, but that's just my personal preference. Overall, I think Atherin has done a great job with this model. 
A factory low hood GP9 is something that's been missing in HO scale for a long time. It's detailed enough to satisfy most modelers and runs pretty well. I'm impressed by the level of detail and prototype accuracy. I'm not crazy about the tsunami sound, but that's just my personal preference. I don't think the problem with the center cap on the fan is bad enough to warrant a spike. I am going to take a spike off for the coupler height. My final verdict is 9 out of 10 spikes.